Hello world, it's me, MRG, and welcome back to Hyper Universe. Now we're just doing our daily mission and unique equipment quest. Unique equipment quest of Kane. So yeah, um, in previous round, I noticed that having the death penalty of Traitor's Great Sword is not worth it. So yeah, we'll just try to swap it with Fury of the Wild, so that would help us increase our damage output and. Two, one. Help us more get gold. more. Gosh, shoot! I forgot. I forgot to turn off auto buy. So that um, what do call this? Fear of the Wild will help us get our kills. So yes, um, as before, we should try to get Hungering Edge Double One. So that we'll be able to start putting souls as. Early as now. My contract is right downstairs, so let's let's try to stay close to her. Where's she going? Hmm, green hit boy. Okay, left stick, left button. Got it. Well, uh, at least in this round we have a specialist to be our contract, which makes our life much easier and much more fun. Yeah, because. Uh, it's um, being in contract with a specialist or a striker is a very good idea. Though bruisers are okay too, since usually bruisers stay close to the enemy and you can use your abyssal ward to gain some damage. But yes, um, I prefer to have strikers and specialists because they deal more damage compared to Bruiser. So yeah, it's either Specialist Striker first, then next probably... probably... Mm, strikers, then last is Specialist. Or Bruisers and Assassins, then Specialist. Then Support, I mean. So I think I wouldn't mind contracting with assassins because considering they have lower health than usual, they tend to die easily. Yes, at least we got a soul stone. One kill. Nice. So yeah, the good thing with contracting um, specialists or strikers is that they typically they typically are ranged characters and they don't receive that much damage since they tend to attack from afar. So yeah, that's the good thing about that. They will not usually go home and usually stay in the front lines for a long period of, long period of time unlike me melee characters where they go in get damage and have a tendency to retreat Oh ho ho, that wasn't smart, but oddly enough, why wasn't there any so crystal or soul stone? Where is she going? 
Where is she going? Oh wow, that's a lot. Wait, where are you going? Ah, uh, the AI. Good girl, the lot. No, 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 no. Try to recontract with Shasha. I need more time. I need more time. I need more time. Mm, she's farming. Okay, let's regroup downstairs. They're dealing a lot of damage. I can't even I'll heal them. I'll heal their damage. I mean. And their Victoria is not moving. And San Wukong got the kill. Unfortunately, it's not our contract. Oh, nice! Downstairs? Yes, I see it. Even though Pain does have great DPS, I don't think it um, um the soul collector set really works on him because because he has good DPS, he really cannot um, get the kills. Don't get hit by the turret. Okay. 
get out. Sasha is down the stairs. Nothing with these parts better than nothing. Enemy engaged. Right behind us. We contract with Shasha. She's our highest damage dealer. Nice! Got that broken. So, oh, where are you going? The Contra. Nice! So we got that kill. Okay, where is he going? Contract with Josh Ops in here. Oh, we're getting too close to dying. Nice! Got that kill. Luckily, Soul Stones re regain our health. Nice! Another kill. So at, least this, uh, at least this time we have our. Heard the wild to help us deal damage. Eliminated, let's group here and try to push forward. We win. Oh, wait, Han is back. And Han is dead again. Tatiana is back and Tatiana is dead again so yes um trading off traitor's great sword with fury of the wilds better because as you saw it helps us with our damage output and it helps us get the kills easily and we don't die that much see six kills which activated our Emperor Scepter. Mm, yeah, only 8. Uh, only 6 out of 8. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. See ya! Bye!